Rebecca in the morning time. Well, check this out. There's a lawsuit claims that a guy was fired for extreme gas. Oh! Wow. Gas! I didn't know any better. I would say this is my teenager. <laughs> If we're allowed to start suing people for criticizing our gas, that's it. I'm going to get rich. I'm telling you right now. Thank you. I'm telling you. Oh, trust. 70-year-old Richard Clem of Pennsylvania was fired from his job last year because of his out-of-control flatulence. Ay, ay. He worked at a company that makes pork rolls. Look how it is. Oh, my gosh. Come that's on. so gross right now. I mean, that's, that just makes this story even better. His company felt like his gas was a serious distraction, though. Apparently, the president even told Richard, quote, we cannot run an office and have visitors with the order in the office. Mm -mm. So they fired Richard in February. Oh, that odor, though. It yes. was um, offensive. Wow. But it's more complicated than that. Richard weighed 420 pounds back in 2010. He had gastric bypass surgery. And the gas was pretty much an intended side effect, unintended side effect of his surgery. Mm -mm. So he lost a lot of weight, though. But along with that came the pedos. Ay. Wow. Yes. I mean, this is most yes. men. Um, anybody wow. you talk to, any guy. Yeah. His wife filed the lawsuit against the company last week. Yeah, good. She was like, This nah. poor guy's like, wait a minute. Yeah. I mean, really? That they're cost doing, me my job? They're doing it for discrimination against Richard's disability. And according to the suit, the surgery gave him two major side effects, extreme gas and uncontrollable diarrhea. Wow. He had that Rhea, though. <laughs> that diarrhea. <laughs> that Rhea, though. Wow. That's, that's a good woman right there. I'm telling you right now, because if he's... Cutting it up at office. Can you imagine at home? Yeah, and I mean, she's standing by him going, uh-uh. Y'all got to deal with this the way I deal with Thank this. Thank you. Thank you. Wow. So uh, we'll see what happens. I mean, right now, it's, it's, it's going to go to court. And uh, he'll be there saying, look, I got the farts. <laughs> and uh, I'm sorry. I can't help it. But I still need to work. I need a job. I mean, come on. Uh, he's like, just, I mean, again, can you buy me some Beano? Check it. Hey, he's got the farts and the its. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Whoa. Wow. Whoa. This poor guy. Anyways, how about you're, you're the guy known at work as the guy who's always has gas, you know? I, mm. I mean, there's the office always go, taking the newspaper to the bathroom guy. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, so, there's that guy. You know, this guy is the office... Harder. I mean, I don't know. There's no way to say they, it. There's no other way around. No, it. and they fired him for it. They're like, I'm sorry. Your pedals are too much. Yeah, that's very discriminatory. Wow. Can you imagine all the Cincy's, Febreze, stuff they tried? Oh. And they're like, nah. Can you imagine him working here with us where we work in? You and I are literally Ugh. in a small room and closed right now. It probably smells closed. like Chichi, La, Chichi LaRue's room. Her room's been sinking a lot here lately. Yes. You know what? I bet you I there's something. I she's somewhere. on her way out. Maybe. Maybe. As, as long as that funk stays here, you can't work here. Anyways, good luck to him. I'll be wins his suit. Don't fire me because I... I, I from one farter to another. Thank Dude, you. more power to you. I stand by the farters of America. <laughs> Please. <laughs>